Football is a game of emotions, and over the years we've seen a lot of moments that have left us asking people to stop cutting the onions. These are some of the most heartbreaking moments in football. Goodbyes are never easy. So when Lukas Fabianski decided to retire from international football in 2021, it was a very emotional moment. The shot stopper's farewell to the Polish national team was as emotional as it can get. Soaking up the adulation from his fellow countrymen, the former Arsenal man couldn't help but break down in tears. And why would he not? He had given so much to his country for so long and finally got to see how much his contributions meant to the Polish people. After Japan were eliminated from the Qatar 2022 World Cup in the round of 16 against Croatia, Maya Yoshida was visibly distraught. The former Saints defender was one of the players who missed their spot kicks and was struggling to fight back tears in a post-match interview. In the 2018 Champions League final against Liverpool, Daniel Carvajal got himself injured during the early stages of the game. The Spaniard was visibly distraught, knowing that he wouldn't be able to continue. His teammates and even a few players from Liverpool tried to console him, but Carvajal was just too distraught. Interestingly, this moment happened just a few minutes after Mohamed Salah was also forced to leave the pitch in tears after dislocating his shoulder. The Egyptian was wrestled to the ground by Sergio Ramos, and it was clearly intentional. These two images were indeed very heartbreaking, because imagine how much effort players put into reaching this point, only to be brought off at no fault of their own. On the last day of the 2013-14 campaign, it was confirmed that Manchester City were going to be the champions of England. The citizens were given a run for their money by Liverpool throughout the campaign, but the iconic slip experienced by Steven Gerrard against Chelsea sealed the Reds' fate. Upon the final whistle in the game against Crystal Palace, Liverpool players were shell-shocked after throwing away a 3-0 lead, knowing that they'd come so close to making history. Luis Suarez in particular was inconsolable because why wouldn't he be? The Uruguayan had carried his team throughout the campaign and did not deserve to be on the losing side. Football has come so far, but in many parts of the world, crowd control is still a huge issue. On October 1st, 2022, a riot broke out in a league game in Indonesia when supporters of Arima FC invaded the pitch. Rather than showing slight composure, the stadium security fired tear gas to disperse the mob. This caused a stampede, which unfortunately resulted in more than 130 fatalities and 320 injuries. The images were heartbreaking to say the least, with many supporters struggling to escape the fumes in the face of a relentless security crackdown. In the aftermath, several leagues around the world announced a minute of silence to pay homage to those who lost their lives. Relegation is always a very bitter pill to swallow, both for the players and the fans. This was the case when Werder Bremen was consigned to life in the German second division. While their fate was already sealed, the reality hit once the referee blew the whistle for the final game of the season. Players were stone-faced, while fans, both young and old, were crying. Ahead of the season, no one expected Verdict to be in such dire straits, but a horrible showing throughout the campaign made relegation inevitable. Qatar 2022 would be remembered for two things. Messi completing football and Morocco stealing everyone's hearts by putting in memorable displays and making Africa proud. The Atlas Lions more than matched France in the semi-finals, but eventually lost the game. Once the final whistle blew, all Moroccan players fell to their knees, shaking their heads visibly emotional. They knew that they'd achieved something quite incredible, but at the same time, they were really close to making more history by becoming the first African team to feature in a World Cup final. While they couldn't overcome France, their displays throughout the tournament won the hearts of everyone who watched their performances. Iker Casillas is a true legend of the game. He was the beating heart of Real Madrid when the likes of Zinedine Zidane, Luis Figo and Roberto Carlos were the crown jewels of the Galactico side of the early 2000s. However, the Spanish custodian was forced out of the club, and it was truly heartbreaking to see him sitting alone in front of the media, talking about his love for the club during his farewell press conference. You could see how emotional Casillas was. If it were up to him, he would have stayed in Madrid forever. 
while Manchester United and Liverpool share a century-old rivalry. All that was put aside by the Liverpool fans, who wanted to do something special for Cristiano Ronaldo following the passing of his newborn son. Both teams wore black armbands, while the Liverpool fans sang You'll Never Walk Alone. The song was sung after seven minutes of the game and was a touch of class by the Reds' faithful. In March 2013, Bulgarian midfielder Stylian Petrov was diagnosed with leukemia, which forced him to leave Aston Villa where he enjoyed a massive fan following. The tenacious midfielder went on to recover, and upon his return to Villa Park watched his teammates in a league game against Chelsea. In the 19th minute, fans gave Petrov a standing ovation, which made the Bulgarian pretty emotional. While he was forced to retire in his prime, it's great to know that Petrov made a full recovery and is still living his best life. Spain won the 2010 World Cup thanks to a goal from Andres Iniesta. The Barcelona legend was great friends with Daniel Jarque, who sadly passed away in 2009. Iniesta never forgot about his good friend, nor the shared dream they had of one day featuring in the World Cup together. Following his goal, Iniesta lifted his jersey to expose a message, stating, Dani Jarque, siempre con nosotros, which means Dani Jarque, always with us. This was one of the most emotional celebrations in the game's history, and a fitting tribute to a player who left too soon. Bayern Munich players were inconsolable following their Champions League final defeat at the hands of Manchester United in 1999. But two years later, they exercised those demons following a win over Valencia in the 2001 final. Valencia goalkeeper Santiago Canizares was absolutely crushed, and while no one would have blamed Oliver Kahn if he decided to celebrate with his friends, the German shotstopper went straight to his opposite number and did his best to console him. Kahn went through the same thing a couple of years ago and knew what Canizares was going through. It was heartbreaking to see Canizares bawling like a baby, but it was just amazing to see Kahn prioritize the mental well-being of a colleague over celebrating a win. It's never easy to say goodbye to a club legend. The player himself struggles to put his emotions into the right words. In May 2015, Steven Gerrard said goodbye to Liverpool, a club he joined when he was only nine years old. More than 700 games and 17 seasons later, the legendary midfielder could not hold back his emotions as he said goodbye to the fans. It was very sad to see Gerard bid farewell to his club, but in the end, it was perhaps the right time for him to start a new chapter in his illustrious career. We all got this feeling from Zlatan Ibrahimovic throughout his career that he had a heart made of stone. The Swedish striker was as confident as they come and is one of the all-time greats. He wanted to stretch his career as much as he could, but at the age of 41, he decided to hang up his boots. In what was an emotional affair at the San Siro Stadium, a teary-eyed Ibrahimovic took in all the adulation from the Milan fans and his teammates. It seemed like such a somber occasion because even the Milan players could not hold back their tears. Even lions get to cry at times. It was a similar affair when David Beckham walked out of the pitch one last time for PSG. The legendary Manchester United midfielder could not hold back back on his emotions as he slowly walked off the pitch. That retirement felt like the end of an era. Manchester United and England great Sir Bobby Charlton, who recently passed away, was one of the few survivors of the Munich air disaster that took the lives of most of his teammates. One of the images from the hospital where he was recovering is truly heartbreaking. The legendary Ford had to carry the trauma of that disaster alone, and his picture tells the tale of a man who'd lost everything he held so dear. A few years later, he would guide Manchester United to their first ever European Cup, and he seemed so emotional and must have been missing those teammates who could have lifted the trophy with him had it not been for a cruel turn of events. Some goodbyes are just too hard to digest. We all thought that Lionel Messi would spend his entire playing career at Barcelona. Sadly, that was not to be because of his beloved club's administrative blunders that took them to the brink of bankruptcy. On August 8, 2021, it was announced that Messi would leave the club after 21 years. The announcement sent reverberations around the world. Messi was given airtime to say his goodbyes, and the press conference was a highly emotional affair. 
The Argentine legend was in tears before the press conference even began. It was just too heartbreaking to see Messi profess his love for Barcelona while admitting that he had no option but to leave. So, guys, these were some of the most heartbreaking moments in football history. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And before you leave, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons, turn on your notifications, and watch this next video. Till next time.